Hello beautiful wild online world. I'm, I'm feeling the energies of the full moon today and decided to come in and share a positive, home birthing, natural, beautiful birth that I had a couple of years ago. The time seems to have passed so quickly, yet those memories in my body are so clear as if they happened yesterday. And perhaps I needed this time to really ground the experience and the energy and honor it even more, see the benefits and the power of it even more. The intention of the sharing is to inform you, to inspire, to educate. This is not a substitute for medical advice. So for anything medical in relation to yourself, please um, seek help from your doctor. And I've... Um, yeah, I, I felt very, very happy to be pregnant when I was pregnant and just super enjoyed expanding in my life. I moved home at that point in time with uh, my partner. And so I ended up in this very beautiful place in Kew that was full of flowers, full of greens and trees. And I was so grateful and lucky to be able to take the time off to really be pregnant, take the time off to really be with myself feel myself and connect deeply with my baby. I had as much help and support as I possibly could and the reason I'm sharing this is I'm seeing women trying to do all by themselves, trying to fit everything in, not allowing the time and the space for things that are really big and important and significant and really matter. So if this speaks to you, you're worthy of taking your time, you're worthy and you deserve to find the support, the information and everything you need regarding anything in your life completely. So the thing that really, really changed my life experience and resulted in me having this positive birth experience was exactly because I found the help, exactly because uh, as soon as I hit the second trimester, I started doing yoga. I had two yoga teachers. I then found somebody who helped me with hypnobirthing. Daria Kaminska, I think I'm going to um, tag her if I can. Samantha Gadsden, she runs incredible home birthing groups here on Facebook. And I learned so much, so many stories from so many women. And that energy of upliftment, that energy of coming together, of connecting with source, connecting with earth and grounding ourselves. It's so important and it really changed absolutely everything for me. Because what happens is birth is associated with pain and us people don't want to go there. Um, there's a resistance to this pain, the birthing pain or any other pain. And what that, what that does is when a um, giving birth is a huge threshold. It's a huge process of initiation. It's a massive gateway. It's the biggest thing one can ever do on the planet. It's the creation of human life. Like all the men, all the women, they're, they're born <laughs> in the same way, through the womb and out into the world. And um, it's a huge initiation and it's a massive threshold to pass. So um, on the journey of connecting with myself deeper, what I had to do is let go of that resistance to feeling the intensity, to feeling that intense um, emotion, sensation that comes during the process of giving birth um, and actually really go for it, really, really embrace that experience, really go into feeling everything fully 100% deeply awake and alert and it's an entire jumping consciousness it's an entire quantum shift and this applies to any experience you have in life going into it fully awake and alert without avoiding without resisting without thinking that it's bigger than you is such a powerful key to life such a powerful key and something else about birth that i think often People forget, perhaps. Uh, we, we live in a world of painkillers and they are so ready available and possible. But it's often forgotten that birth itself has its natural painkillers. Um, my birth was 18 hours long and I was at home for the 18 hours. And it's a long time, definitely it's a long time. But within that time, I was able to witness my body go through 
the adrenaline rush and all these other chemical rushes and all these other um, ecstatic, blissful hormones that we have that I would not feel if I went down the route of epidurals and painkillers. So I'm really grateful that this opportunity is there to actually really feel life and meet life directly. Um, <clears throat> on my birthing journey and pregnant journey, I gathered as much information as possible as to what happens in hospitals, what women really experience, um, what are the stories and unfortunately I heard lots and lots of not so happy birthing stories and women that were not happy with the way that their hospital births were handled. The things that they expected or they were told that then turned out to be different, the recovery time that was different and, and this experience. So that really convinced me to go ahead, educate myself as much as possible, prepare myself as much as possible and trust my body fully 100%, honour the truth in my body, honour everything that I felt, be in that alignment and follow it through 100%. And that's what I did. And the challenges and the gifts I had at the same time was to continue affirming my truth and it was a series of saying no to um, the tests that I was offered that were just too much, um, medical checks and all sorts of things that were coming from a place of anxiety. So what it felt was that the medical team that was coming uh, to, to see me or even a hospital constantly wanted to check over and over and over and over even though it was very clear that everything is fine and that was already confirmed so I felt that there was this inconsistency with who, who I was and the health that I that I have that's seen on medical records and so on with a continuous need to check the explanation was just to make sure and it seemed as though there was a protocol that's followed as to bum 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 this is how it's done everybody has to do that but it was almost not quite considering my exact circumstances so the the very powerful thing that that I that I did and I do want to share that with the world is is that power of your voice to really say what you when you want something and to really say when you don't want something and it's totally okay totally okay it's your body, it's your choice, protect it. And even if you get a medical advice, if you're not happy with it, you have the right to get a second one. So use these rights that you have in order to really take care of yourself, in order to look after yourselves. So what I really felt protected me was that ability to keep on declining, keep on saying, no, thank you, I'm not gonna do this, no, thank you, but I'm not getting involved in that no thank you, I'm not going to come to hospital today because I'm not sick and there's nothing wrong with me. Um, <laughs> and it's a very strange experience having to do it because um, speaking to medical teams of people kind of, it comes across as, as those people who have a lot of experience, who know, they know what's best for you, they want to suggest what's best for you. At the same time, I feel that we need to work together. I feel that people need to work together with those who advise them, with those who want to take care of them, um, with those who they kind of recruit to help them. So there isn't a handing over of power. And that's something I, I talk about quite often, um, that you don't need to give your power away. You don't need to give your power away to anybody or, or anything. You are the one who remains in your power and you recruit the people who are there that are going to help you. And if a person or a place isn't helpful to you and you want something else, that's totally fine. That's absolutely and totally fine. If you don't have enough information about something, ask for clarity. Again, it's totally fine, totally empowering. So these boundaries have been absolute life saviour. The research information have been incredible. 
and most of all the womb work that womb connection with my body that absolute knowing of the creation that I am bringing on earth and how exactly I'm going to create and manifest it, it and it came as though um, when when we don't own that power of creation we look at life as if it's a random experience so often when I was dealing with hospital team they were looking at me as if I was a random experience that could randomly have something happen or not happen to her and I was certain that I was going to create what I wanted to create and so that's what I did and I'm saying this to you because you do have that power. You too own your creations. You too know what you want to create and what you don't. You're not random. Life is not random. Of course things happen, but we are responsible for how we handle them and we always have choices. And I just want to bring that openness to receive help, openness to be supported, openness for the miraculous to happen as much as possible. Um, together with the receiving of help, all kinds of help and support. Um, working with women, I've also we've we've been through that female trauma of birth, the female trauma of giving birth and often the unexpected, often the unknown of what's going to happen. Now there's a very natural fear of the unknown, there's a very natural sense of I don't know how, how this will go and um, at the same time there's a part of you that knows because what you're doing is the most natural thing in the universe, what you're doing is the absolute most natural Thing. you designed that way human life is designed that way and I can still feel the absolute power and authority of that moment of receiving my baby in the pool and grabbing him with, with my hands and just feeling that absolute wisdom and wholesomeness and wholeness that is the creation of human life and since then I've really felt like I'm able to connect with the whole of life on a whole new level, able to connect and guide and teach and, and mentor every single human on a whole new level because I've birthed one of you people <laughs> um, and it's nothing more powerful and incredible. So to those of you who are scared of giving birth, it's okay, it's totally okay. When you're supported and you go through every single fear and trauma within your body, you will come out like an absolute warrior, absolute priestess, absolute empowered, wholesome, integrated human than you would have ever imagined. It's been done and it's, it's continuously being done. And those of you who've had birth trauma there is a way through it as well. It doesn't have to keep you stuck in any shape or form. The wombs that we have, they are a vehicle for life, creation, for inspiration. And they don't have to hold all the pain and trauma anymore. There is a choice, there is a way out. So if you feel in yourself that there's a heaviness or there isn't a connection with that part of your body, which is because of trauma itself. It doesn't have to be that way. You can live in absolute powerful connection. And if you're not connecting with that part of your body, if you're running away from your power, you're running away from your wisdom. You're actually not able to come from a place of wholeness, place of wisdom. So that sacral chakra, the, is, the womb is in the sacral chakra and everyone has a sacral chakra whether or not you have a womb is where all our relationships are where um, the cords and the bonds in the sense of secure, insecure, confident not so confident, fear or trust pain or an actual strength of, of the voice that you have 
is what really, really comes in. And the experience of going into birthing is what really, really helped me to surrender to the absolute harmony and wisdom that this life is, the absolute flow of all things and incredible way in which everything is just taken care of. Very often when we're disconnected from the source and don't feel that wholeness, we're trying to control life or we're stressed trying to get push a certain goal into this time, this point in a way that causes stress and pressure and anxiety. And actually going through this amazing childbirth experience and, and having my baby and bathing in this absolute harmony, absolute perfection, absolute bliss is an alignment of that um, will stay with me forever. It was literally a quantum leap of consciousness that I experienced in, experienced in those hours of birth. 24 let's say 18 hours of birth and thereafter I gave birth at 8 p.m. and thereafter I couldn't sleep until the next morning because I was so so high and this was another incredible thing for me to observe even though my body was weak what actually happened is I was incredibly high and there are so many amazing natural hormones and natural drugs that the body goes through and they're so perfect just in a way they are. So if anything or anyone is putting you down in any of your life experiences, you can get a second opinion and you don't have to doubt yourselves. You have an incredible power, more than you can ever imagine. I'm gonna leave some more information in the comments or description of the video so that you can access it and you can too be informed and you too can feel empowered and know that the cycles are changing, we're going through a shift of consciousness and the time has come to really come back to a wisdom and own it and live it past that fear, past the pain, past the, the trauma and the stories of what you can and you can't do, where you can recognize where the person in front of you comes from a place of real grounded integrity or fear and anxiety and th this is one of the biggest lessons I learned that I can't let those who are going to help me and teach me come from a place of stress, fear and anxiety because it's not going to work. There was a moment I was in hospital for my second scan and I was told I needed to wait for some tests and things like that. So I gave in my documents, I was waiting, it was a really long time, I didn't know what was happening. So I went into the, the midwife staff room to say what's going on, I've been waiting so long. And the whole room was just stressed. The whole room was in panic. And I was sat in my bubble of bliss knowing that I didn't need any testing. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, and, and so they said to me, we need to measure your blood pressure. And I thought to myself, oh my God. And the thought in my head was really, you need to measure your own blood pressure. I don't think I'd said that to them because it would come across as really rude. Um, but I really wish that they are more supportive than they currently are. All these birth workers and the NHS staff and medical teams and hospital workers seem to work under so much pressure and so much stress that knowingly or unknowingly they're bringing it to their patients. They're bringing it to those people. And in my case, because I had time off work and I was connected to all these amazing people um, I, I was in bliss. I was just sat in bliss with my big gorgeous glowing tummy with my baby and um, there was nothing wrong um, that people kind of wanted to find all the time. Um, another moment that felt quite significant was the two weeks extra wait, uh, waiting time as I gave birth at nine and a half months so during that time, there was this slightly bit of extra pressure from people or hospital staff. Why is it not there yet? What's happening? Suspecting that something could be wrong, 
when I knew in my heart that it wasn't and I knew in my heart that everything is just perfect as it is and I'm so glad that I trusted that I'm so glad that I trusted my body and so glad that I knew everything is gonna turn out for the best and everything always works out for the best and I could just wait for the time of the universe when things will come together and not to be part of this rushing culture we've got a culture that rushes and wants everything now yeah you're pregnant okay baby this date baby out off you go it doesn't work like that life has a natural cycle sometimes it's quicker than we think sometimes it's faster than we think the thinking is a little bit relevant just allowing that natural cycle of maturity and ripening is so powerful that's where real maturity happens inside us too so I'm gonna leave you with this love you very much you're not alone whatever's happening all is well and all will be well